Every school day, children across North America wait for the school bus. Appearance-wise, it's hard to miss. Big and yellow, it's deliberately conspicuous. Designed to stand out in traffic so other drivers slow down and take notice. Manufacturing starts with the support structure, the steel underframe. They arrange several short rails crosswise down the top of two long frame rails. These cross rails will link the long rails and provide strategic support. Using a lift, they raise the long rails and the cross rails slide into position just under the rims of the long ones. Now in a fixture that pins the rails together, workers bolt them together. With the school bus underframe assembled, they roll in two enormous wheel axles complete with brakes. Overhead cables lift the bus frame and workers guide it into place on the axles. They attach the axles to the frame with metal brackets, shackles and spacers where needed. The chassis is ready for the engine. They lower it onto the front of the frame and secure it with bolts. The school bus engine packs a lot of power. It's diesel fueled with six cylinders. Next up is the front cowl assembly, which includes the instrument panel and steering column. A worker wires the steering wheel to the controls in the column and slides it into place. They mount the tires and rims, four on the back axle to handle the heavier passenger load and two on the front. Using a multi-pronged tool, the worker tightens numerous nuts to fasten the wheels to the axles. They now encase the engine with a fiberglass hood. The hood has been pre-painted and equipped with cross-view mirrors and headlights. They bolt it to the vehicle frame, and after adding antifreeze and coolant, the bus is technically drivable. They roll it over to a test station to check the brakes. The wheels turn on rollers so the bus runs in one spot. A computer monitors the performance of both the front and back brakes as a driver applies them. They now move on to build the school bus body. The bus body starts with the floor. They unwind double-sided galvanized steel into a machine that slices it into panels. It also cuts holes to be used for assembly. A forming machine folds the sides to create support beams. Two more steel beams will really stiffen the floor panel. A worker positions those beams on the panel and an automated machine welds them to it. It feeds the floor panel to the welder incrementally so it can spot weld down the length of the beams. It takes dozens of welds to solidly secure the steel supports. And with those reinforcements, the floor panel is complete. It's ready for assembly. Workers arrange several panels upside down in a precise configuration. Then it's into a second automated welder that joins them to make one school bus floor. After manually welding pockets for wheels, a machine called the floor flip picks up the bus floor and turns it right side up. They're now ready to build the passenger compartment, so stay tuned.